Hello, and today we're going to be reading from Uncle Arthur's Bedtime Stories, Volume 1, page 61, The Man Who Could Not Move. Some time ago, I heard of a poor man who was suffering from a strange disease. At first, it affected his legs and made them so stiff that he could not move them. Then his arms became stiff, and finally his hands and fingers, so that he became like a lump of iron laying on his bed. Strangely enough, his head was not affected, so he could still think and talk. Now, it may seem hard to believe, but this man, afflicted as he was, still carried on his business as an insurance agent, talking to his customers through a telephone which had been fixed over his bed. He refused to be discouraged. Above his bed, he kept two mottos. One said, don't worry, and the other, down but not out. One day, he dictated a letter to a friend, in which he said, I am not discouraged. Since I lost the entire use of my hands, it has been harder for me to carry on my business, but we are gradually devising methods to overcome this handicap. We are compelled by necessity to continue the fight, but Nurse is a wonderful help. He concluded his letter with, Yours cheerfully. With an example for us all, if this man could be so cheerful in spite of his terrible trouble, what excuse can we have to be discontented? Do you know anyone who grumbles because his breakfast isn't just what he wanted, because he has a cold in his head, or because the weather is wet and he can't go out to play? Maybe you do. If so, be sure to tell him about the poor man who, though his body was stiff as iron, kept cheerful in spirit, and who, who though, down was not out.